Karachi is normally a bustling city of some six million people, but under martial law, the tightest of restrictions have been imposed. The 27 orders and regulations were detailed in this morning's newspaper Dawn, and some idea of just how tight those restrictions are is given in two paragraphs. Paragraph C says, we shall weed out antisocial elements. Paragraph E says, curfew violators and those indulging in looting, burning, stoning will be shot at sight. During the hours of the curfew, it is like a ghost town. Troops guard every street corner and their loyalty has been rewarded. For instance, a junior officer's pay packet will be increased next month by four pounds a week to 20 pounds. The curfew permits some people on the streets, but only those working for essential services. They have been ordered to go to work. Most unions have declared a national strike, but Mr. Bhutto has banned unions and strikes. In Karachi's cinema district of Garden Road, where titles of violent films match the mood of the city, there has been considerable damage. It costs 15 pence to see a film. The government has imposed a tax of another 15 pence, so the cinemas were broken up by supporters of the National Alliance. In Liakutabad, a suburb of Karachi, National Alliance banners and slogans are still on display. All the army remove are the black flags placed to commemorate the dead. But the curfew is lifted every afternoon for three hours so that everyone can buy food. Outside the Empress Market in the city centre, Karachi comes to life within seconds. Anyone out to make a quick profit from the limited buying spree has been warned that they will be dealt with severely. They say the penalty is death. Any shopkeeper who does not open up has also been told his action is detrimental to peace and tranquility and the army will settle them. But the army seem reluctant to get too involved. Neither Mr. Bhutto or the opposition have room to manoeuvre. Mr. Bhutto has locked up his political opponents while the National Alliance is bent on a campaign of street violence. Throughout the week, the Alliance planned further demonstrations in defiance of the martial law to press Mr. Bhutto to prove his government's majority by holding new elections. Keith Hadfield, News at 10, Karachi.